Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, this week I'm down in uh, Jersey City fishing with the guys from Rave Marine and Navionics as well as uh, Frank, uh, Fin Chasers Charters. Did some fishing here on the lower Hudson River, worked out into Raritan Bay, the beaches off of uh, North Jersey, got into some bunker schools, found some uh, pretty decent action once we got in on the bait, had some nice fish to uh, about 30 pounds on top water and uh, one nice fish in the mid 30 pound class on a live bunker. It was a great outing. Really happy to have gotten out with thanks a lot to, again, those guys from Navionics, Ray Marine, and Fin Chasers. Now stay tuned in the coming weeks for some coverage on this event at thefisherman.com. We'll put, put together some really, really cool uh, video footage on this trip on all the features that these uh, Ray Marine Navionics offer these days. So it is not to be missed if you're in the market for some new electronics for your boat. All right, moving on into the uh, fishing information here up into New England back home. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, talking about the Peconics. Uh, there's some really good fishing for those looking to take a shot across Long Island Sound. They've got some massive porgies, some decent striped bass mixing in, even some bigger fluke and some bluefish poking in here and there over there. It's some really, really good action if you're willing to take the short run across Long Island Sound. And just remember, those, except for the striped bass, are all eligible for the Fisherman Magazine's dream boat. There's even some big sea robins being mixed in. So you got some real good opportunity here to get on the leaderboard early. Moving north up into Rhode Island, uh, fluke fishing really finally kicked in in the last week or so with uh, some much better results being reported off the South County beaches. Uh, they're getting fish all over the place, some out around Block Island, but those bigger fish are still, for whatever reason this year, being reported off the beaches of uh, Francis Fleet. Francis had fish to nine pounds over the weekend. Since then, this week, the fish have been more in the four to roughly six pound class, but still some really good early season fluke and take in place there in Rhode Island. <clears throat> and then moving north a little bit more, got word from uh, Fisherman subscriber Jan Zwerko. He was doing some black sea bass fishing out into Buzzards Bay and did really good on fish to about five plus pounds. He said he started off in usual shallower waters but ended up having to go a bit deep to find the better and better action and the bigger fish and it paid off for him. And then lastly, we get the first really big fish of the year reported from the Cape Cod Canal last week as a 51 inch striped bass was landed reportedly in the west end of the canal. Now I didn't get reports or uh, details, excuse me, on the catch any further as to uh, what it might have been caught on or uh, you know tides or what have you, but still just knowing there's some big fish already moving through the canal, it is a good thing and the bite is on. So as always, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Wishing you tight lines as you head out onto the water this weekend. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com.